those who come late just find us we've already started yeah, so most importantly this binary project it's a data structure one should not you should not forget about that so we've been learning a lot of data structures so starting with the single link list single link list we just do a small introduction and then go to the task immediately because of time i forgot to pay my wi-fi if i'm just using band also i think the session will just last for two hours today yeah so data structures there's, there's something called sing, single link list so we we'll just start a single link list single link list there's also double link list and link list there's also hash tables tables including others but most, most in, the, the important thing that you're supposed to know about this binary tree project is that the foundation is based on all these previously data structure that we learned so in, so in, in case you didn't get maybe hash tables I hope you got single link list because the concepts here are more like intertwined so in case maybe you didn't get one of these you can go back and look at them we don't do that we have so many videos uh, there's also one in our youtube channel and just go there that's the first video started of single link list so in case you didn't get a concept to maybe want to refresh your mind just go back and check if you understand this if you understand single link list i don't think double link list such tables are going to be a problem yeah. <coughs> That's a story for another day. So, okay, in case you're not muted, please mute yourself. Yeah, thank you. So yeah. So a binary tree is a data structure con consisting of nodes. So these are the nodes. This round objects here. So these are the nodes. So a binary tree is a data structure consisting of nodes where each node has at most two children yeah so for it to be called a binary tree you should have is that, is that a question or let me see yeah okay yeah. Good, good evening yeah so for it to be called a binary tree it should have at most two children so every node should have at most two children if it doesn't have two children it will not be considered to be a binary tree yeah so i know everybody went through the resources so i won't do a lot of introduction we'll just name this one and then maybe help each other in familiarizing how the importance of this and then go immediately to the task so, so let me just draw a line so people will help me with naming this one that's one this one also then these two and then this one also and then these two okay so let me start let me start with gabriel welcome gabriel good evening uh, good evening yeah so welcome here so we're just starting out so we just want to name this tree yeah. here so this first node here oh, I'm first, yeah so i may not be able to pardon i may not be able to i may not be able to finish this guy i'm having a low battery power okay okay sure sure then okay let me just right. thank, okay. thank so, you okay so well, i'll get it i'll get it recording later oh, okay okay sure sure don't worry about that okay Thanks. so let me see okay paul Hey Paul. Hello Paul. Okay. 
to heal him just go with another person hey ken hello hello welcome yeah, thank you thank you yeah so we just this is just a small introduction so we just want to know we just we just, we just want to name all this tree here so starting from here and until the bottom so will you maybe kindly help us with the name of this first node here what is what is this first node normally called oh um i'm sorry i've not yet started uh the task on binary trees mm -hmm. so i'm yet to go through the resources okay sure okay sure okay okay hello hello okay okay hello who is that gabriel okay sure gabriel okay hey can i assist okay sure i i think it is root root node yeah 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 thank you for that so this first node is always called the root yeah so we just name it root let me just use a different color we are going to see the importance of all of this while we are now we are coding so because as you can see the first task here was write a function that creates a binary tree node and then the second one was saying write a function that inserts a node as the left child of a, another node so in case you don't know what a, a, a child is or maybe a left child is you won't know how to do this or how to implement this you can see the other one is saying write a function that inserts a node as the right child of another node so in case you don't know which is the right child or what is a child you'll be able to do this you can see the, the other one here is also about delete so write a function that deletes an entire binary tree so you have to know what you have to know the the concept behind the binary tree so that you'll be able to delete it so see the next section all of these tasks here are just based on this tree as you can see yeah so just write a function that checks if a node is a leaf so you have to know what is a leaf if you don't know what is a leaf then you can't implement this yeah this, even god can't help you with that if you don't know this yeah, so yeah i think we were here yeah so yeah let me I'll just start from here requirements yeah let, me, let us just continue yeah so this first one is called root okay thank you for that gabriel um okay let me see Wamaitha. hello hello okay can you help us with this what is what is this node usually referred to us yeah child yes. node okay you're saying child node yes okay it's a child node but then Mm -hmm. you're somehow okay you're in the right path but then you're not let's say correct but then you're somehow there now we say let's let's start yeah this one is a left this one is left so most importantly that's why i drew this two here this one you should know this one is left first of all let's just give it left let's just give it left child and then we're going to we're going to come back to it and then also this other one here we'll give it right child and we're going to to, we're going to to see about that yeah so and also let me see let me see what okay now i'll just write some few words here sorry about that i'll just write some few text here so there's a parent there's a leaf i don't want to use to the same because there's parent there's leaf so apparently what else am i leaving out so left child right child leave and then maybe let me see root we've already seen root we've already seen left child right child okay maybe you can say okay child root two I'm just right child what else okay we can also talk about height and then we can also talk about another thing oh, 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 please mute yourself mute yourself yeah so yeah i think i think this uh these are the only things here in a tree okay so now when i mention your name if you are able you just tell me where i'm supposed to put this parent here so in where so if it's, it's if it's here in the left child or right child if it's here down 
you just let me know so the quicker we do this maybe the faster we do this the faster we'll start doing the task yeah so i think he wanted us to go and kill task eight maybe nine maybe seven we'll see about that but then i'm sure if we start doing because one thing that i noticed while i was doing this task is that once you're able to do this first one this second one then the rest are going to be easy because the same same concept you used to do this 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 one here is the same same concept you used to do this and then the same same concept you used to do that one you're going to use the same same concept to delete it and then to know if it's a leaf so that's what we want to know so leaf so where should i put this leaf here let me just see let me just mention a name okay ruth hello ruth hi good evening good evening so welcome thank you okay so which, what, what do you think which node here is referred to as uh, a leaf i think it's the one below the the child um node this one here. i'm not so sure though this this two here yes okay you're actually right but then now because you're not sure i'll want you to help us with why do you think this is a node okay okay this one is referred to as leaf or maybe try helping us with the definition of a, of a leaf um i think the leaf has um okay yeah i don't know i think they are on their own something like that yeah um, okay yeah you are right actually so a node okay just a minute just a minute so a leaf is uh, a leaf okay let me see okay okay oh Onyechi, I hope that's how the name is pronounced. Okay, sure. Yes, yeah, that's that. Oh. Okay. Um, okay. Um, a leaf is um, a leaf is a node that has no child. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. is sorry, it has no child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're actually right. That's what I wanted to say. So a leaf, a leaf node is a node that has no child so in a case we are now you come here you now we are here in task 4 and then you are told to write a function that checks if an if a node is a leaf so your function should you should write your function so the function here we are going to write is one that checks whether it has it has a child so if it doesn't have a child it's a leaf in case if it has a child it's not a leaf that's why you can see here it, we've been given this this implementation if if node is null return zero but then you're going to see that you're just, you're just going to see that yeah thank you for that yeah so let's see which one right child left child okay parents yeah this parent so where am i supposed to put this parent anyone can just chip in and finish up on this one so where am i supposed to put this parent Anyone? At the root, root node. After? At the root node. Okay, at, at the root node. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Now, okay. <laughs> Thank you for this, actually. Okay, where do you think it's supposed to be at the root node? And because the parents give birth to the body male and the female. Okay. Uh, okay, what's your definition of a parent? Appearance is a, is a data structure that has the combination of left child and right child. Exactly. So this parent here, if you if you put it here, so this this first one here is 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 the root, and it's actually still the parent because it is the one that these two left child and right child are coming from. It. So that's why it's called a child. So in case it, it didn't have these two here, it, it would not be referred to as a as a parent so also a height yes support okay the height there's no place here called the height but then you're just supposed to know how to get the height of this tree you're also supposed to know how to get the depth of this tree yeah let me delete this one i think these are the small concepts that you're supposed to know okay will someone help us with how to get the height of this tree or maybe let me let me say something like what is the depth of the root here? In this case here, what, what is the depth of this root here? 
let me just mention a name i just wanted us to do this quick this quickly because of time okay kenny hey kenny there's no wrong answer guys here we are all learning and what, one thing that you should never 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 fear is saying your wrong answer because if you say it here and we we say it's wrong you won't repeat it again but then if you don't say it here you still one day say it somewhere else let's hope it's not in an interview so kenny will you help us with that can you repeat the question the depth of what is the depth in this case here for example you ask what is the depth of root of this root here so we'll say the root has a depth of zero and then what about let me see what about what about this left child here um, i'll say one yeah in short what, what, what you should know is that the depth increases going downwards yeah okay and and let me ask you guys also another thing if I say also this is apparent here, will I be wrong? No. Why? It has children, the left child and the right child. Exactly. These are the small, small things you're supposed to know. Okay. Let me just... I think that's that. I won't, I won't say anything else about that. Because everybody went through the resources. So maybe just talk about these three traversal Hello. methods. Hello. Hello. Okay, sure. This is, this is Gabriel, sorry. Okay, okay sure, Gabriel. It's uh, depth and uh, height. I did the same thing. I need a better clarification because I was, when, when I was going through the resources, I didn't actually get the description between the two. I don't know if you can put more, throw more light on that. Okay, they are not the same thing because you can say okay how, how will i de define this one let me say something like the depth the depth can say is the level is the level of a node in a tree i'm gonna say when you are referring to the depth you'll be just you'll be talking about, it's like more referring to the level of a node in a tree so in this case here we are saying the the depth of root here is zero because the level here can say it's in level zero i'm explaining this based on how i understood you but then i guess there's a better explanation for this and that's how i understood you because if you, if you try to cram all those english statements i don't think you'll get it and then when what i got about the height is okay just let me see i think somebody has raised his hand no you can finish up and i'm chipping okay okay sure 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 and then when you're when you're saying height now height i just got that the height is the maximum depth of the tree also you can just say it's the length of the longest path so in this case here i don't think there's a longest path here okay let me see one two three okay there's no longest path here but then in some other scenario maybe you'll get it's regulating this and you need to hurt yeah you'll get maybe this is another let me just let's do this quickly because of time we don't want to we don't want time to end while you have not just started this task so i guess in this case here when you ask maybe when you ask maybe the height then you are going to go with this path here because this is the longest path in this in this tree here Okay, Gabriel, I don't know if that has helped, so maybe you listen yes, to Wamaita. Yes, yes. Okay, Wamaita, help us, maybe try adding on to something on this. Okay, so from what I understood, okay. if you are asked the depth of a node, you start from the root, you start counting from the root, you count the edges. Mm -hmm. But if you are asked the height, you start from the, no the specific node to the deepest leaf node. Okay, so if you example, if you ask the, the, the height of the right child, mm -hmm. you will start from the right child mm -hmm. and then to the to the last leaf node in Mesa Pata, the last leaf node. So in this case, because the we, deepest. So for example, in this case, we have two two leaves here. So yes. which will be the last one here? We'll I think the same because 
the the height is the same because the the edges is still one two. Okay. Assuming we had another child mm -hmm. on one side, mm -hmm. you will go with that one, the longest one from the node. Oh, okay. So in case we had maybe something like something like this one, maybe. Yes. Yeah. So this one could be the the height. Yeah, that would be the height of the node. Okay, but then in case of in a scenario of depth, we we'll start we we'll start countering from the root. Yeah, the root to the node. Okay, so Gabriel, I don't know if this has helped. Okay, okay, sure. Yeah, so okay, let me just put the right thing, the last thing. Oh, sorry about that term. So maybe the last thing maybe we we we'll just discuss on before we do the tasks is maybe now the traversal methods which is this pre-order especially this one this one are really important because i think starting from task six task six is, uh, is searching for pre-order and then seven i think in order eight i think it's post order you know about this also post order post order and then lastly in order. yeah so I won't ask for the definition I just ask for the traversal technique so in pre-order how do we go about this one let me just mention a name so in pre-order let me just quickly no 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 we don't want you you have already said something let me let me hear from daisy daisy how that how that's how the name is pronounced daisy daisy okay yes okay. i'm uh, present okay can you help us with yes. the traversal techniques for just pre -order? having some network okay okay sorry for that for pre-order in case in case you can hear me in case you can't speak you can just type it down okay let me see jaril uk jaril okay let me just go with somebody else okay kenny okay kenny hello hello welcome okay with pre-order what i understood yeah uh, um it it's it is a traversal method mm -hmm. whereby you visit each node starting from the root node so, and you explore it as far as possible so mm -hmm. basically you start by visiting the root node mm -hmm. then you traverse the left subtree recursively yeah. Yeah. then you traverse the right subtree recursively that is what i understood okay 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 thank you thank you kenny for this so i don't know let me let me ask does anyone agree disagree with kenny before we move on before we move on to the next one does anyone disagree with kenny so kenny is saying in pre-order we transverse from root and then we go to the left and then we go to the right yeah, I think everybody agrees with you. Thank you for that, Kenny. So, what about post order? So, Clinton, help us with this one. So, how do we go about with post order? With post order traversal. So, Clinton. Okay, let me. Okay, let me. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, Doris, I can see Doris is there. Okay, Doris. Guys, if you don't know about these three things here, especially these three things here, really. Can important. you hear me? Yeah, yeah, sure, we can hear you. Oh, for the post order traverse, you yeah. go through the left transverse, then the right, then the root. So you're saying left, so right, and then finally the root. the root okay okay thank you for that and then lastly 
lastly now this last one here yeah, in order so okay let me see i know thank you kenny okay you already said something onyechi onyechi wanted to say something okay now help us with this in order in order so how do you go about this one Onyechi finish up with this okay, because of time let me just go with okay 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 Kenny okay Kenny Kenny finish up with this one okay you start by traversing the left sub tree okay left then you you visit the root mod so root then you finish with the right sub tree sub uh, recursively Okay, so so left root right okay thank you thank you Kenny for this unless somebody disagrees with, with Kenny okay because there's none let me just give you guys a tip here so well maybe you, you are getting a hard time differentiating between these three or maybe these transversal techniques all you should know about is that the left the left always the left okay okay in pre-order root left right is right is okay in post order left right root is okay yeah okay in, in both three of them what you should know is that left text to two and then <sighs> root the, and then root in short right never starts if it's not root left is the one which starts that's what that's what i normally that's what that's the technique you normally use personally i just know that there's two lefts and then one root and that right never starts yeah so that's how you normally do this because there are two lefts here you can see there are two rights here you can see these two here so these two lefts and then two rights here and then this root this root here so it's more like they're interchanging but then without looking at them keenly you won't get this difference here so right never starts if it's not if it's not root it's left ever this doesn't change yeah and then for those who didn't go through the resources there's also something else we won't discuss about that there are also types of binary trees but then we won't look into those so they are full binary trees complete perfect things like that so maybe in a, you'll get in a scenario maybe there's there's a binary tree that is just like hello that. yeah sure hello gabriel yes are yeah. you seeing the, the the movement is the anti-clockwise which which one here okay okay you're, you're saying they you're giving us your hint also yeah the from your own concepts okay that means the movement is from left to right anti-clockwise the direction yeah it starts normally they start from left so but then it depends with the, with, with the order though okay yeah, okay it depends with the order so everybody understands things differently so in case you think my own way of understanding is maybe challenging or maybe it's some or not it's tricky just look for your own method of understanding but then what you should always remember is that right never starts if it's not shoot it's left so maybe you can confuse from there but then just don't don't never start with right if you start with right then it means you have not learned anything just always start with left and root and remember that there are two lefts and one root so you can maybe now confuse there from there going forward but then okay. if you start with right somewhere now in an interview I, I guess that would be so so bad so i think that's it so let me let me just do this so in our in our you know we just go directly to the to the task because of time we we'll do a lot of introduction but then for those who didn't do for those who maybe have not started the, this project make sure you also read about types of binary trees 
and also know how to get the height and also the node even though we have mentioned some of those but then there's still there's still a lot yeah but most importantly get to know the pre-order post order and then in order make sure maybe you can draw this tree or maybe any other tree and basically use this one you know this one looks bad but then make sure you can be able to draw and then name this even if you're sleeping yeah so you just know the, where the root is which life child where it's a parent where it's a leaf things like that if you get that everything else is going to be easier yeah so you, like in in a case of maybe okay so maybe like this one here insert right so if, if you're supposed to insert right you know that you go this way yeah if you're supposed to insert left you you know you go this way if you're supposed to know if, if it's a leaf you, you know that a leaf doesn't have children so you know how to implement that but then if you don't know maybe how to to draw this or maybe how to name this or maybe interpret this i bet you're going to get a really hard time yeah so now I can just start let me just start from the top yeah so general yeah so yeah so these are the requirements so allowed viv max and then we compile using ubuntu 20.24 it's not compulsory to use ubuntu you can just use any development environment you like Personally, I use this Ubuntu that they want, they say, because Windows, I'm using Windows, so Windows has Ubuntu, so I normally just use this one. And then your, your code, you use Betty, and then it will be checked using Betty style. That's one. Basically, you just say you should use Betty. We've done C a lot, so everybody knows about that. I not used to use global variables, more than fun functions per line. I not use the standard library. And then the following examples, the main C files are just used for testing. So compulsory. And then all your prototypes should be in this one here. And then you should not forget to push your header file. And then all your header files should be guided. That's one project repository for those who are teammates. For those who are doing it alone, I think that's okay. And then this is the data structure that we're going, we are, we are going to, to use. Yeah, this one here. Let me just stop in my terminal and do this looks quickly. Yes, so. Yeah. so we we'll just make a directory for this. So we we'll just call it PLD binary PLD. it's empty so first thing first we're going to create we're going to start with this we're going to start with this header file here yeah so we've been told our header file should be called binary trees dot h so that's what we're going to do let's going to do this step by step but then there's some uh, okay okay i will type this one so somebody to help me with how should i start in our in our in our header file what the first thing i'm supposed to put here or should i just go directly and paste it so first thing first so what should i type here hash, hash include so you're saying hash hash include open less than fine okay Standard input I output dot teach. Output dot teach. Dot teach. Output. Dot teach. Dot teach. Dot oh dot teach. Okay. Like that. Like that. Is this close it again? Oh, but okay, it's already closed. Okay, so 
You're saying you should be like this. Yeah, you're close with Guta, that's fine. Okay, but then, okay, let me just give you the space here so that you can see this properly. There's a less than sign and then output of church. So less than and then finally closing. Or I should add another one like that. You're saying you should add another one? It's okay like that. Okay, but then I'm disagreeing with you here, but then let me check if the other mates also are... Oh, I said STD. Okay, you're saying STD. dot H. Okay. I'm still disagreeing with you here. But then let me see. Let me see. Yes. I think we are supposed to define the binary trees first. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's that's what that's what that's what that's why I, I want us to do this as a group. So I want us to go step by step. So the first thing here we are doing is we're starting with this header file. So how is normally how, how does the header style normally starts? So that's what I'm asking. It's, it's, if not defined yeah, exactly it starts with that so it's, so you are saying if not you saying if yeah okay i think there's supposed to be uh um hard, uh, this thing yeah. hash whatever if. but yes if not defined yeah and then today binary trees and then i'm seeing something i don't remember i just had to and i didn't know that is that okay about, yes. Uh, then define binary tree. So, can I use small letters or capital letters? I should just lose caps. Capital letters. Okay. And then how should I close it? And your tree is not correct. Oh, sorry. For the second one, yeah. I just finished the call right now. Yeah, yeah. And then how should I close it? Um, and if and then hash and if yeah exactly so let me let me, let me i'm not saying okay let me just put some space here so that everybody knows this is this yeah so in case you're told to define your header file this is how it's normally defined so the first thing is if not defined but then okay this binary trees dot h here is just because our header file name is supposed to be this one but then in case you've been given another name to so just change this one here but then the hash if not defined is normally compulsory the hash defined is always constant and then the hash end if is always constant also so this three this one two three those are normally like that so i just delete this one for a minute or maybe let me just leave it because we're going to use also c files here so let me just leave it so we've been given we have been and then I think that's it only for up to there so now here we will say please use the following data structures and types of the binary trees don't forget to include them in your header file because we have been told to include them in our header file i'll just copy paste i don't want to remarkable was here i could have said be lazy yeah so i'm, I'm also lazy nowadays so i'll just copy paste it here so everybody learned about structs so they know this is betty up to here so all of this is pretty and then this one the art this one are now the variables yeah so we given a struct binary trees and then this one is a node this one is a pointer to the parent which one in this case is now just say for just say for example this one here and then this one is a pointer to the left to the left child and then this one here is a pointer to the right child yeah, it doesn't either way, even if you say this other one here, you said pointer to this parent and then left child, right child, either way, it's still okay. And then now, what else? Yeah, up to this one's here. This one is a binary search tree. We are not going to implement this for now. Yeah, this, this one we're going to see. So, for task 0 to 23 included, you have to deal with simple binary tree. So, in case you want to do the advanced that's when now uh, we'll start doing we'll add this one here i personally won't do the advanced yeah, so no, I have okay sure the the first line of code okay is it compulsory what are, if you if you put define binary trees on top and if not defined on that is is it still going to affect it okay i think i think it's going to be i think it's going to affect it because 
I've never I've never tried what you're saying, but then I think it's going to affect it because everywhere that I've I've looked or maybe since the day one that I started doing this, I started doing C programming with this style here. I found out that if I don't use this line, first line here, or maybe if I leave out something small here in this first line here, for example, if I say hash if not defined, if I say binary trees and then I miss maybe a single E here, and then this the second one is okay, still this won't work, it's still going to pop up an error. So, which means that this first line should always start like that. I think this was the same way it's constant, like in like. This is just the normal way you should you should do this one. You can't change. You know some things are just normally meant to be like okay, that. Okay. Yeah. Maybe maybe in case we in case we we do our we start our our own programming language one day, we'll change this. We'll intertwin this so that people start with hash define and then hash if not define. Yeah. Okay. That's a question. Okay. What my Tashua? I think it will affect because okay. we had the guard so that the to avoid calling the, the header file twice. Like in another file when you call the header file, mm -hmm. you add the guard so it doesn't be called twice. Yeah. So if you start with defined and not if not defined, I think it will affect. Yeah. Same me, I think also it's going to be a, yeah, I think it's going to be affect. There's a reason why they normally say start with this and not this one. So maybe just just start with this one for, for for the reason for that i don't know maybe maybe we'll find out later on yeah, so i think that's it okay you're supposed also to use this example in this in this function here but then i didn't use it everything still went okay but then if you really want to test your codes you just come here just come here copy paste all of this about my internet just come here create this binary tree file and then copy this code you paste it there and then you'll be working with it and then also in this other this other binary this header file here we're just supposed to do this one take this one and also what else and then this prototype here in this case here we won't test these codes here but then if we really want to test this one somebody will help me with the process to do that but then if nobody is going to help me with that we'll just do this in a manual way so as you all know so first thing first i've skipped this one here so if you want if, if somebody tells me how to do this how to how to come and do this because if you do it manually like this if you just come and, and copy paste this code here paste it here and create a file with this and then the name if you try to run this code using this using this here this gcc using this one here it's going to pop up an error yeah, it's going to say something is not defined blah 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 so in case somebody tried it with another method because i was using another style i just decided to, to to use my own test 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 files so in case you use this ones for lx and they work pretty well so we'll just tell us the method and then we'll do it here so that everybody sees yeah. so i think that's it i think oh, we've not left out anything else you don't have to put it okay so new node okay just as contrast zero so write a function that creates a binary tree node so the prototype is this one where parent is a pointer to the node and value yeah when created a node, then when created a node does not have any child your function must return a pointer yeah you should return a pointer to the new node and then finally the function and then nylon failure yeah so the prototype you just copy it come and place it here and give it a let me just give it an enter there I think I've used it twice. I read guys this, this way. I set up this. Yeah. I think that's that. And make sure you don't forget about this termination here. While we're coding, we won't use this termination, but then in, in using this prototype here in the header file, this termination is usually very important. Yeah. 
I normally just like doing this I normally just like taking all the prototypes and putting them here because of, because of time just do this quickly but then you don't have to do this you can just be going one one code push then go to the second one open file yeah you chose what you do you just everybody has his own style of doing things I just do this because I think it's a lot of work coming back here again. So this one is yeah. this one is delete. Task form. Yeah, I think we're we up to five. First file is called. I just will just do everything. We we'll do Betty everything, so that everybody sees how this is done. The first try, the first, the first one. I won't ask a lot of questions, but then from the second one, you guys will help me with that. So, so the first one because we have, we have already created our header files. The C should include should include binary trees head no trees no touch just that and then uh, BT documentation so Just doing this. I don't want to type everything here. So this one. So creates a new, creates a new, creates a binary. Node. creates a binary. Tree node. Make sure there's no space. The space bit you won't, won't pass. And then many just parent and value so and parent so the parent is a pointer to the parent node to create so this is a pointer to the parent node the parent node to create and then the other one is Spaces here, and then finally return. So we should return a pointer to the also return a pointer to the new node. documentation then you just come here just copy the prototype and make sure you don't or in case you, you just copy also the termination make sure you come and delete it make sure there's no trailing white spaces you don't want to come back here so now we want to create a new binary tree node in the normal way of declaring a variable you, 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 could, you could maybe you could just come here and say maybe int a but then in this case here 
this care in this case here we've been given a, a, a we've been given a data structure that we're supposed to use and then in this data structure here they've given us you, know, you can see how will you see this over okay we can see a data type that we can use to create new nodes i can say that so this is the data type here so whenever you want to create a new node you have to use this data type here so just also copy copy it let me just copy it okay. so binary tree just name it maybe and it should be a pointer new node just say new node so new node yeah, so binary tree tree so now so where parent is a pointer so, so the new node so the new node also I have to assign it I hope everybody remembers about malloc somebody will tell us size of I need to have the size of binary somebody will tell us the Important of malloc. Maybe how it's used in a minute. Yeah. Okay. Let me just do this first one and then explain it. And the next, the next one, somebody will help. Let me in that. So if new node is equal to null, if new node is equal to null, then just return. Just return null. it means because of which you should have the brackets else now so new node so new node okay let me show you guys something here or let me just type it I'll, I'll tell you about it because to value this value is the one that we declared here then new node new node left new node left left should also be null it should be null because it's saying when created a node does not have it does not have any child and also everybody knows that every new every new every new every new tree that is going to be created you should normally normally you should not have any values yes the ones who should input the values you can create a tree and then you get that it has values already that is going to be really awkward so so new node right also so the right one also should, should be null and then finally so the new node we will do the parent should be equal to parent also and then now it's a, we're supposed to return supposed to return a pointer to the new node because 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 our new node here it's a pointer so basically we just you say return this new node that we have created here so return new node yeah. and then we can say what that something else so we have three new node so new node is equals to malloc then this is a binary tree so if new node is equals to null then just return null else the new node the values of n goes to value then new node left null so new node parent goes to parent ah, i think this is it this the only thing i wanted to explain here is maybe this n here so this n here is this integer stored in the n node so so we are saying the new node the new node now the, the values are going to be held with this 
to this variable called value here i don't know how i should explain this better so that everybody understands oh i hope you guys are following up i, I hope i hope first of all is there a question up to here just feel free in case you see some you're seeing something that you don't understand or is not making sense you can just ask before you continue because this first task if you get this first task and they and the, the second one going forward is they're just easy but then the most importantly you should know how to create a new node insert values to the left and right those are just the most important things you're supposed to know if you know about those all those the remaining things are going to be easy so and this first function here of creating a new node is there a question or maybe is there a place that you're seeing maybe you didn't do it this way just feel free gabriel is there a place maybe is there a place maybe you're saying you didn't do it or maybe i could i could do it better Uh, maybe Gabriel is not around. Oh, no, Gabriel is not here. Okay, who is who's okay? Kenny, are you the one who says something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I, I guess uh, there are many ways of approaching it. Uh, probably, would you mind breaking for me down the the last line of code? Okay, this one you know. Uh, this new yeah, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, you, you, okay. Basically, this this last line. Oh. I've given it a space. Let me let me get you one first. This one. Let me let me see. So new parent. So new node parent. Yeah. So so new node. Yeah, new node parent is equal to parent. So okay, this last, this last, this last line here basically is just saying in the new node that you're going to create here. So the parent, the parent of the new, the parent of the new node is basically the same same parent that was still around here in this structure that we are in this in this binary in this in this data structure that we are given. As you can see, in this this data structure, we are given a pointer to the parent node. And also here in this in this prototype that we have been given in task task zero, we've also been given a, a a pointer to the parent node. So basically, what this says is that this pointer that we've been given, we are using here, is still going to point to the data structure of this <laughs> this of this implementation that we're given here before. So, have I answered your question, or maybe I should try rephrasing it? Yeah, sure, sure. Thanks, Ahmed. I've, I've understood. Okay, okay. Okay, somebody's really quiet here today. Let me see. Let me somebody. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Are we together? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Come here. Yeah, so is there a method? Okay, while you're doing this, so did you do it in a different way that you would want maybe to share or should just continue i follow the same method okay the any, same okay any any other person who maybe tried a different approach to this and it worked yeah so they quiet i'll just see everybody just use this okay Let's just test Betty. If Betty is going to to say something on this one. Yeah. Okay. It has passed Betty checker. Okay. Now, here comes now the tricky part. Okay. Who who was testing his code while he was doing this? Kenny. Were you were you testing your codes? Or you are just pushing and checking? using the checker oh i i yeah, yeah i checked using the checker okay why didn't you use this why didn't you use this one here why didn't you create this this file and then use this one here or maybe you're saying that's a lot of work yeah 
okay okay i still i still i know still there's somebody who did it okay i'll check man okay yeah. your name? okay now okay. tell me how did you how did you check yours um i used um gcc just normal way okay. then i wrote down the, i copied the main the main dot two. okay let me copy it let me just copy it let me copy it so you copied this one no 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 yes i started from include i should include not from there uh, 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 this is just the name this is the, just the name okay, okay. Yeah, this is just the name of the first one and then you just copy from this one here just going downwards okay just like that okay and then you just use this gcc here I don't know if I've lost you or we are still together. If you use this, okay, let me, for, for just learning purposes, I won't show you guys how to do this, but then I just tell you this. If you do this, it's going to, to, to prompt an error because you have not created this file here. That's what, tell, that's what I was telling you. First of all, you also have to do this. So the, the same thing you've done here, you should also go here into this into this repo and then copy this file. Copy paste this file here. Sorry about that. My internet is I'm using my own because I was putting myself. That's why this is loading. Yeah, so you should just come here and then okay I don't know what's wrong with this one yeah it's also also that's because of my internet yeah okay let's try this again up you know what's up let me let me try this again one last time okay either way i think i think you guys already know what i'm trying to mean so if you want to test this if you want to test this using using this this file here you can't do it without this binary tree.c and in order to use this binary tree dot C, you have to come to this repo, copy, copy paste it, and then create its file, and then now you can be able to use this one. But still, even if you do that, it still has an error. That's why I didn't use it. So I tried fixing that error, but then it still didn't work. So I, I was just creating my own file. So after doing this, I was creating another file, and then. So just go to the second one. So that's the same code I used. And I tried my checker and it passed. So in case my internet is just that bad. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Let me try. Let me do this one. Okay. Let's hope this one is going to do be quickly okay we'll, tr we'll try that one later okay so this second one here you say was saying write a function that inserts a node as a left child of another node so you, you just you should just write a function that inserts a node as a left child of another node so where a parent is a pointer to the node to insert the left child in and value is the and value is the value to store so when you when you see value just always remember about this one here this end here and in case where you where you are coding and then maybe you are 
you're finding it hard to understand just be using this structure this structure is really 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 helpful while i was doing while i was starting out i was having a hard time finding or maybe implementing this but then i finally came to realize you should just use this this structure so code and then maybe if you don't get something just come back here and then read this again i'm sure you'll get something out of it so and then so write a function that inserts a node at the left child of another node so we have already put our prototype in our header file so we'll do that again so we'll just have to come and do it create this file so somebody will help me the will help me the bt documentation on this one because i've done the first one so let me just call out a name because it's here so we're in now insert left so somebody will help me with this one let me say kelvin hey kelvin can you hear me Hey Kevin. Hey Kevin. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey Kevin. Okay. Hello. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I didn't I didn't know that my mic was off. Okay, sure, sure. I didn't know my mic was off and then I didn't know, so let's just continue. Sorry, sorry about that one. Okay, Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Okay, let me just go with another person. Oh, sorry. Let me just mention names. I want this session to be an interactive one so that once it's over, at least everybody can get something out of this one. I just don't want to do everything here. So let me see. Okay, Wamaita, will you help us with this one here? Hey, Wamaita. Hello. Hello. Okay, now we are in task. We are in task one here. Can you help us with this one? Like I have to share my screen. Okay. No, oh, I can just guide you. You can just guide me, or in case you want to share your screen, you can also share it. So, okay, let, let me let me just guide you. Okay, sure. So, yeah. task two. Okay, how should I start? Um, of course, we start with the we 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 call the header file. Okay, hash include. So the header file is binary. So binary. Mm -hmm. So in okay, one minute, one one second before you continue. So in case guys, you are not able to 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 test your codes after this session, I'll make a small video in case we get time tomorrow. We we can just come and then just do the testing only. Just in case you won't be able to create your own test files. Yes, yeah, so just continue. Okay. okay. And now we are going to add our description. Okay, Betty. Now Betty documentation. Okay. So first thing first. Uh, the the function name. So should I also take the pointer? No. Okay. So okay. The function is is binary tree or is this other one binary tree insert? Which is which? Binary tree underscore insert left. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And you can see it it, it inserts a node uh, to the left child of the binary tree. Inserts a node to the left child. Mm -hmm. You can just say that, okay. And then next thing. And then you're going to describe our the the parameters, the parent. Okay, should they describe should they skip a line or should just just below it? You you can skip a line whatever you prefer. You can just do below it. Okay, okay, leave. I'm going with you. But you can skip a line. Yeah, okay, skip, uh, skip a line. Okay. Okay, at parent. Okay, at parent. It's a pointer to the node which will insert the left child. So it's a pointer to the node to insert. 
sat left child in the left child okay okay next at value at value it's the the value the data will store in the new mode okay that And then you can return. Mm -hmm. mm, you can say if, if the parent is like null, okay, there is should, an error. Okay, should I skip a line or just below it? Skip a line. Okay, so return. So if parent is null. So if parent is null. Or there is an error. Or error. You can return like the pointer to a new node. So return. Just. Mm -hmm. Okay, return. okay. We are here now. So. Return pointer to a new node. So return pointer to, to a new node. Yes. Okay. And then I should close it. Mm -hmm. oh God. Do we have like two other description? We can leave it like that. Okay, personally, I normally don't use, I don't I normally don't add a description, but then mm -hmm. if I see the line is too long, mm -hmm. I just normally do this. Let me, let me show you. I just normally just do that and then add my, just continue my statement from here without oh. inputting anything else. I, we can leave it like that for now. Okay, sure. Okay. So we start with the prototype. Okay, so I should so take the prototype enter. from binary tree. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, should I edit out in something here? Or is okay, just like that. You remove the, the, the what are they called? The, the terminator. Semicolon. Okay, sure. The semicolon. Yeah, that the one. The terminator. Okay, I've removed it. Okay. And now the curly braces. Okay. Open. Okay. So we are going to define a new node. Okay. So how will we declare that? Uh, binary underscore tree underscore t we use the the one that we defined in the struct okay so i'll just say this one okay and yes then, so new node it, a pointer to a new node okay so we should add a pointer so let's just name it new okay okay new yeah mm -hmm. like that okay and then mm -hmm. skip a line okay we're going to check if there is like a parent, if there is already like a node. So you can say if parent is equals to null. So if parent, so if parent is equals to null, I should just use one is equals. No, two. Okay, is equals, is equals to null. A return null. So return, so just null like that, without nothing. No. You, you add the the braces. Okay, thank you. Okay, and then terminate it. Yes. Okay. We are doing this because if there is no parent, then you can't add a left child. Okay, sure. And then we're going to skip a skip a line. Okay. And then we're going to to set the new mm -hmm. to you binary tree and underscore node. Binary underscore tree underscore node. Okay, so binary. Let me just copy it from here. So, I hope this is what you are saying. This one here. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now you we are setting new to that. So you start with new is equals to the 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 one that we we already defined the variable. So you say new to that one mm -hmm. okay. and it, it will take two parameters parent and the value so parent comma value yes okay. yes and then you're going to check if new is null so if new is equals to null so if new is equals to null return null And then mm -hmm. I'm going to skip a line. Okay. So the one we created, mm -hmm. 
the, the previous one we are like allocating memory like we have already created the new node mm -hmm. so we initialize its values okay yeah so uh, we, we, now you're going to to check if the left if the left child is null. so now i'll say if so how will i do that if parent mm -hmm. so if parent Parent. Okay. You, you forgot the name. Okay. Yeah. If parent pointing towards the left child. Okay. So if, okay. So if parent left is not equal to null. Is not equal. So is, is that how the not equal is written? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is not equal to null. Uh, now we are going to rearrange to rearrange the the node. Assuming that you already found a, you found a something on the left child. Mm -hmm. Now you want to add the new, the new node. Mm -hmm. So first close, close the. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to enter on the curly braces. Okay. So new pointing to the left. So new pointing to the left. Okay, new pointing okay. to the left. Mm -hmm. Is equals to, equals to parent to the left. So parent to the left. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So and now, uh -huh. yeah, like that. You should terminate it. Yes, yes. Okay. And now the parent to the left. So parent. parent move to the left, then to parent. Now we are setting the parent to new. Okay. To parent. No, 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 okay. not like. So parent say to the left. Mm -hmm. And then to the to parent again. Okay, to parent again. Why to parent yes. again? Because we have to rearrange. Okay. We set it to new. Okay. So we want if there is something there, mm -hmm. we are going to push our new node. Okay. Is equals to new. Is equals to new. Yes. And then terminate mm -hmm. it. Yes. And then. And then I think we can we can move from that. Yes, I think. I should close it. You can, I can close it. Okay. Now we're going to like set parent to parent left to new. So so I should say parent left. Mm -hmm. As opposed to new. Yes. So um, where are we setting it? The the parent left to new. Uh, in, assuming that it wasn't null, yeah. so we have to set. We have to 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 move the new to the left side of the parent. I I, I get what you, I get what you are saying. I hope I hope mm -hmm. everyone is following up. Yeah, so in, so in this line here, all, all all she she means is in case now the parent, so the parent maybe had a left node. Or maybe he had some values in the left node now she wants now the the, the, the left node to now to be the new the new one so for the yes. new one that we created so yeah so yes next now you can return new so return, return, return new like that yes and then we are done just like that yeah i think yeah i think um yes I think that's that's it. Unless someone has like an addition. Okay. okay, thank you, thank you for that. Let me see. Okay, okay, guys. So now this is the task. This is task two. This is task one. So we are, we are supposed to insert. We are, we are supposed to insert. We are supposed to insert a node as the left child of another node. Yeah, so now this is the proposed function here. So. Does anyone maybe have something better to say to, or maybe something better to say, or maybe does anyone disagree with this, or maybe did anyone do it in in a different way, or maybe you have something to add on, or maybe remove here? Just feel free. You're all learning here. Anyone? 
Okay. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know you guys. I know in order to prove that this is working, we're supposed to test it. But then nobody wants to help me test this one. If we test this one, nobody is going to research. I've given you the hint how we're supposed to, to test this squad here. But then now, we won't do it here. Because if we do it here, people just go and copy paste this code. Because they know that it's working. So that's why we are not going to do this. Maxwell told me that if we give out everything, then people don't benefit. So that's why you're supposed to give people less. And then they go and find out the other thing. So, personally, I think this code is actually correct. Because it's implementing everything here. So, because as you can see here, like this line here, so we are saying, so the prototype, yeah, yeah then, then, then now, so where parent is a pointer to new one, it has already been set. So, if parent is null, then just return null. And then, this is here. So, if parent already has a left child, so then you know it must take its place. So, that this is, this is, this is what this line is doing that. So, in case the parent has already uh, had a left child, so the details of that, we are going, the, the values are going to be taken. That place is going to be taken by this new node that has been created here. In case it didn't have, just continue like that. So in case the new parent, in case the parent was not null, so the new left, the new, the new node of the left. So this new node that we have been created here, this one here. So the new node of the left is going to take the values. It's going to take the place of the parent left node yeah and then now oh sorry about this one this one is supposed to be parent not parent parent yeah uh, well, and then this one is saying so the parent left parent is goes to new yeah, so i think that's it let me just check betty please guys please test the testing is actually easier just copy paste this one and then copy paste with the other the other one and then put the prototype inside your header file and then just gcc if you do that oh suspect code okay two warning test statement should start on a tab stop okay i think that's because of my my settings here don't worry about that okay we we'll just go you know most of you guys have not set your, your linux like that yeah we want to like that so i don't think that's going to be a problem but then most importantly you just know how to start with beta documentation the beta documentation is very important without that it won't work so thank you for that Amita. now let me cut this one. I want I want you guys to see something here. LS. We have inserted on the left. Now we are supposed to insert on the right. All you're supposed to change is just something small, very very small. So let me just mention a name. Hey Ruth. Next year, next is you today. So prepare. You're the one who's going to delete. So. Yeah, you're yeah, the next one here. So, hey Ruth. Hello. Okay, I'm just saying maybe it's the internet connection. So, Anthony. Uh, Anthony. Oh, that's how the name is pronounced. Can you can you hear me? Yes. Okay, sure. Can you help us with this one here? So, okay. We've been given the we have coded the first one of in the uh, the first one of insertion of a node as the left child of another node. So this one is the this one is the function. As you can see it here. Now in task two here, it's saying write a function. Uh, sorry, write a function that inserts a node as the right child of another node. So what do you think you're supposed to change here? Because the first one was was inserting to the right to the left, and then this one is just inserting to the right. So basically everything is the same, but then we're just supposed to change something small. So what do you think you're supposed to change it? I just joined, so I'm now actually catching up. So I was just going through what you're doing so I can 
catch up. I'm sorry, I may not be able to say anything tangible for now. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Your time is coming. <laughs> okay, let me see. Ruth is super quiet, but then okay, let me let me go with Clinton. Clinton. Clinton, you're really quiet today. Say something. Clinton, we can't hear you in case you're in case you're talking. Yeah, sure, sure. I can hear you right now. Okay, pardon. Pardon? Okay, I don't know if it's me alone, but then I can't hear you properly. It's like you're talking, but then you're really, really far away. And now? Yeah, sure. Now no, you're okay. Sure. Uh, what was your question? Okay, so, okay. As, 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 you, as, as you can see here, so our first, on this, this here, on this first task here, we are, we are supposed to write a function that inserts a node as the left child of another node. We have coded this. So this is the code that we have coded together up to here. So we have gone step by step and we see all the requirements are okay. So now, on this second one here, we are supposed to write a function that inserts a node as the right child of another node. They are more the same because this one is inserting to the left and then this one is inserting to the right. So with the, using this same, same code here, what do you think we are supposed to change? We'll edit we just because we're just supposed to edit something small so that it works. So, what do you think you're supposed to edit here so that this one works? Mm -hmm. I think instead of left, we can use right. Okay, how now? How okay, where on this line here? So, new was saying new should be left. Okay, we want me to start from the starting point. Yeah, start just start. Do start. Okay, the documentation, the documentation is okay. Everybody knows but you how have to do this to... one. Just start from this prototype here. Start from here. So we. we start. Oh, okay, okay. From the prototype, binary underscore three underscore t pointed to binary tree insert right. Yeah. Okay. So here should be right. Okay. So we should interchange this one to be right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, change. I'm waiting for you to change. Okay, sure. Okay, let me. Okay, let me. Let me. Let me change. Okay, let me. Let me. Change. Oh, you cut the file. Okay, yeah, let, let I can go. Just, let me just go inside. Let me insert because of. Let me just do this. I just. I just. I just. Let me comment out this one. Because of. I want to. Okay, it's here. So binary tree. Okay, now what? what and then. Okay. I think mm -hmm. ev everything, everything seems okay because at this point, new point. The only change you're going to make is it comes after. When you've declared if parent is equals to left, now we're dealing with the right. So, so here, it's going to be. Let me set it number. If parent. Let me set if number. Parent, right. just, just a minute. Let me set number. So that you can get this clearly. Okay. So you're saying we now we should change from line? Line 20, 22, 22. Okay, let me mark. Okay, so we, we should say. Parent pointing to the left. The, to the right. Okay, here. Yeah. So but this one should, should change into right. Yeah. Okay. And then that's it. No, no. The new uh, we are still going on. Okay. To line twenty, line twenty-five. Mm -hmm. The new should point to right again, and the parent to right too. Yeah. Because the parent right. And then we should return this one also at line 28. So line 28 should remain, should also wait, wait, line 25. We're not done at the end. The the point. Also, okay, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, let me check, let me check, let me check. Yeah, I think I think that's it. Okay, so will you explain this one? Will you explain your code? Shall I explain? I think okay. What I can say is She already explained, but I can say from the beginning we can say we declare from the binary tree we have a pointer new node. Okay. 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 Then after declaring, after declaring the pointer new node, this is where the new, the pointer new node is where we are supposed to insert the new node. Then there from there we check if parent. If parent is equals to null, we return a null value. Okay, can if... I ask a question there? Yeah, yeah, ask. Why are we checking if the parent is null? If the pa if the pa if there's the, the parent has no value, then we return a no value. That's what I mean. If it's like if the par if there is no parent, return null. Okay, so if there's no parent. Yeah, 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 I can go with that. Okay, actually, you're right. I'm not saying you're wrong, but then now the explanation is how more messed up, but then you're actually right. So you're saying if the parent is empty, is, is, yeah. is are, you, are you saying that if the parent is null, so if the parent is not around, or is the parent is empty? If the parent is empty. If the parent is empty. So if the parent is empty, now the code should continue. If the parent if the parent is empty, the, we should return a null value. Else now we continue. Or else now we continue, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, I think I think I think that's it up to there. Yeah, thank you for that. Because of time. We do a lot of talking with this one because of time. Then okay. if we had time, we could have this. Yeah, so thank you for that. Maybe We'll test this one later. So now, deletion. So write a function that deletes an entire binary tree. Okay, let me just do this quickly. Okay, up to now, now we won't. No, we, I, I don't think we are going to do BT documentation because I think everybody now knows how to do the BT documentation. Every task should have a BT documentation. If it doesn't have a BT documentation. And let me tell you something small. While you're doing this task, I noticed that if you mess up just one thing, every checker is every you 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 get nothing. Like there's a place I was doing in task. I think it was in task seven. So I messed up. I put a, a pointer to a place it was not supposed to be there. Only that so it was it has been. I think from morning since morning to twelve twelve p.m. There. I was looking for that small small thing. Just, just small, and okay. I should include. Then I couldn't find it. I finally found it. So I should include. So be very careful. So be very careful when doing this one. So just one small mistake. Get it. So trunk so binary trees. So church. So how am I going to do Betty the same round? Everybody knows how to do Betty. We've already put this one out, so we will do it again. Now, uh, yeah. So we are trees are pointed to the root of the tree to delete. If tree is now, do nothing. So I uh, know I will do it. Let me see. Okay. Hey Paul. Hey Paul. Hey Paul. Hey Paul. Yeah, in case you're talking, we can't hear you. I think Paul can't talk at the moment. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, okay. Let me let me just do this one and then we we'll go back again. Okay. So in this case here, we are told to just write a function that deletes an entire binary tree. So that 
start with the T and then do your prototype and then who declare anything here so you're just going to say if tree if tree if tree is, is not null so if tree is not null sorry about that one if tree is not null then then bang in hurry binary tree delete tree delete binary tree delete so we want to delete the, all the tree nodes on the left so we need to delete left first of all and then we delete right also binary delete also the right node binary tree to delete right also yeah and then you free the memory that was been used by the nodes so if tree is not null so it, so this, this so in case this all these so you're saying write a function that the prototype and then where tree is a pointer to the root to delete so if tree is null do nothing so that's why i'm saying if tree is not null so it should continue but then in a case where it was null nothing could happen so if if, if, if this function only executes if the tree is not empty but then if the tree is empty this function won't execute so we are saying it should delete, it should reverse all the tree on the left and then right. And then finally you should just free the memory that had been occupied. Yeah. So any question there before we continue? I wanted us to reach until task eight, so maybe seven. That's why I'll just do quickly. Okay, sure. Any question? I think it's correct. Yeah, so okay. Anyone else who maybe had a who maybe did it, did this one in a different way? Okay, let's continue. Nobody. So, vi. So this one, the other one is saying, write a function that checks if a node is a leaf. So, in order to check if a node is a leaf, you just have to check if it has it has a left or a right child. So. Basically, <laughs> that. first of all there and then then you continue don't forget about Betty if you forget about Betty you're going to get a hard time passing all the checks so so now so it's saying if node is null return zero yeah and then your function must return one if the node else zero okay so first thing first it's saying sorry normally normally start with that if statement so if if node is equals to null so we should just return i'm following this one here so we i'm returning zero because i've been told to return zero if i was told to return something else i would have returned something else so just follow what we've been told now else so if node 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 left is it is empty maybe is empty otherwise it is a pointer to the node right and to pointer okay left and we are using and also 
right not right goes to null then then you should just return one that's what we've been told yeah then you should just return one Return that one, return zero. Yeah, <laughs> so let a function that checks if a node is a leaf. I think this is how I, I did it. And the, okay, I go I, in this in task four and task five. I go to styles of doing this one, but then I guess this one is the easiest. The other one I found it to be a little bit complicated. So, is there anyone who else is there anyone who would put this, this task with a different? style because i found another task the one that doesn't use two if statements just use only one return statement so let me just see maybe somebody did this one better okay Wamitha, did you did you get a different method of doing this one or maybe do you have an, another method of doing this one I think that's okay, but I had used one one if statement. Okay, and then and, okay, you can also do that. Let me let me just do this. We're all here to learn, so I think we okay. Okay, okay, so. So you just said okay okay should i start with if node is equals to null yeah if node is equals to null so it's equals to null okay or okay or so node to parent okay, or node or node to parent like point it was the parent is not equal to null. So it is not equal to null. Then you return zero. Okay, then return zero. Then you skip an A and then return one. And then return one. Okay. I think I think okay, there's a okay. There's also another way to do this, but then I guess this one is also correct because if node is empty. Maybe it's no, yeah, the node is empty, and then the node is also is not now. You just return zero, and you just return one. Yeah. There's also another one. There's also a different style because this one is not the style you used. But then, mm -hmm. thank you for this one. Welcome. So anyone else, anyone else who had a different, who got another style of doing this? Uh, I've heard somebody saying four. something. Okay, Clinton. Okay, sure. It's number four. Or, oh yeah, yeah, that's four. Oh, so okay. Let me comment out this one just a minute. Let me comment this one out. Yeah, now this is okay. Okay, sure. Continue. So, me used, I used, uh, you can go for we with me. Started after the prototype. So, okay, the prototype is already, it's already here. Okay, using my phone, I can see. So I went to it. If node, you check first. If node is equal to null, return zero. So okay, if node is, is okay, if node is equal to uh, sorry about that, is, is equal to null, I should just return zero. Yeah. Okay, return zero. Okay. And then, if node, if node. If not pointing to the left, mm -hmm. so pointing if, left. Okay, pointing left and the, is equal to null. Yeah, it's equal to null. But mine I use. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I hope I hope I, I hope I hope it, it will not look like this one, the first one here. Uh, I mean, I let me see, let me see. Yeah, look at this one here. I hope it won't look more like this one here. Because but you know, with mine, I, with mine after checking, if not left and not right is close to Nile, I ended it there. Okay, why, 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 why? So you didn't return one? Oh, I returned one. Or else I returned zero. I saw you, but I saw you. She's part in doors. Okay. Either way, I, I think, I think, I think your outcome will look more like this mine here. So, I don't think there's a reason for just doing the same thing but then, no reason, yeah yeah but well, then thank you for that still anyone else if, if one last person before we move on to the next one who maybe did task number four in a different way just feel free you can just chip in okay let me just kenny did you did you did you get maybe a different way of doing this one I, I I I used uh, a single leaf statement. Mm -hmm. So you use this this single leaf statement and this two returns. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think I think most people then use this ones. Yeah. So we'll just continue. Yeah, so task number four. Ah, five, five, five. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. As I've told you guys, I know we are not testing this ones. But okay. Maybe we'll see if times allow. We'll just test maybe one or two. And then, yeah, so test five. Let's see how she include. Yeah, so now take the prototype. If you know you have not said something since we began today, this one is for you. Because I think this one also is more like the same because you're just saying write a function that checks if a node is a leaf. So this one is this one and this one are the same. I just have to change something small, small. So let me see. Okay, I can maybe I can start with mine. No, I will start with mine this time round. Let me hear from someone before I say anything. Okay, Ruth. Hey, Ruth. Ruth, you're welcome. Hi. Hey, today you are really quiet. Say something. Tell, help us okay, with this one. Okay, it's left out. Okay, sorry. Okay. I don't see what. Yeah. So, we're in task um, five. Okay. Um, I think I'm not done it yet, though. Okay, but then, okay. okay. Were you here when you are doing task number four? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so the same thing we've done in task number four, that's the same, same thing we are doing here, so only I that we are changing something small. I think 45, it will not be yeah, if it's equal to none. Okay, so you're saying if it's if not, either wait, equal to wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you're saying if not, it's equal to, I mean, it's pointing to left, something like Okay, if it's not equal to none, something like that. Is equals to null, okay. No, if it's yes. not equal to null. Okay, it's not equal to null, okay. So it's not equal to null, okay. Sorry, let me let me check. Okay, sure, sure. Okay, it's just saying I can't just read the question. You can say if not is not null. Yeah, if it's null, then return zero. Okay, return zero. That's sorry. Mm -hmm. This return zero is if it's null. So okay, so I should say if Okay, I should say so if node is, is equals to null, I should return zero. Yeah. Else then um uh, then else if it's pointing to um to right so if node or left is pointing to right pointing to right and it's pointing to left. It's pointing to right. Then you have to add someone to, I don't know, who's possible. He's pointing to right. And, and he's pointing to left. And left. So, yes. For things I have to try. And left. So, yes. Return so, one. Uh, you need to have built something for the Okay. okay so that people will want 
Just like that, we are done. Okay, Ruth. Yes, yes, that's all. Okay, I think. Okay, okay. I won't say I won't say anything here, but then let me ask. Okay, let me close this this final brace so that somebody won't say that's the error. Okay, so guys, does anyone disagree with this code here, with this function here? How it's been implemented? Let me set numbers so that you can just say the error is starting from a certain number. Okay, so does anyone disagree with this function here? Let me just mention a name because I can see nobody saying anything. I think we're supposed yeah. to be an else. To to okay, where, where, where am I supposed to put the else? Before the yeah, so. yeah. if, else, if, so um, yeah. uh, I don't know. So, so you're saying yeah. Or yeah. just else. Yeah. Yes. Then you can move if. Okay. I don't okay. know. But then, you know, we can't remove the else and then remove the if and then remain with the node. Yes. Okay, just leave it like this. If there's correction, so you should correct it. <laughs> okay. okay, that's why that's why I'm asking. I'm asking from the members. If anybody before you say anything, does anyone disagree with this code here? With this function here of number five of task five? The same What's, the meaning? Okay. What's the meaning of the second if statement? Yeah, okay, okay. Ruth, tell us also what the what's your thought process behind the second if statement here that's saying if node right and node left return one um because it's supposed to it, um it is supposed to have both right and left nodes something like that okay i, I think i okay personally your explanation has not gotten uh, i didn't understand it but then I'll say maybe I'm a slow learner. Yeah. So who understood what she was trying to say? Or maybe who who said this function is correct? Let me start from there. Let me just mention a name for, because of time. Mm. Okay, Tunde. Yeah, I've not heard you say anything. Okay, Tunde, what do you think of this of this function here? Yeah, just continue because of time. Okay, I think. Okay, Paul. Paul. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Okay. Clinton. Okay, Clinton has said something. Okay, Kevin. Okay, hey, hey, Kevin. Hey Kevin. I think maybe the internet. Okay. Let me okay so oh, I had said something, Ruth has said something. Okay, Clinton, I'm back to you again. Everybody has, has passed the ball back to you. So what do you think about this function here? Let me see it. Let me see it. Yeah, just see it. Just say anything. Just say anything. Yeah. About function five. Yeah. Okay. So okay. yeah. Second is not the First of all, do you agree with this function? Okay. Thank you very much. No, not really. Okay, so where do you think the error is? Where or where do you think the error is starting? I think uh, there the error, uh, the error is where he, the, at the point where he's checking if the node points to the right and the node points to the left. So line six. Yeah. Pardon? Yeah, so you're saying line six. Line six going yeah. forward, that's an error. It's not supposed to be there. Yeah, it's, a, it's supposed to be pointing towards the parent. 
Yeah, yeah actually yeah. that's true Ruth so that's where you are wrong so in the first one here where you are checking if node is equals to null there there you are, you are, you are correct because you are saying so if node is null return zero so you are absolutely correct here but then now this second one here i didn't i don't know what you're trying to mean by this second statement here but then i think you didn't finish it because this one is wrong so let me just delete it so clinton will you help us with the correct code or should i just finish up this one if not you can say it's not okay if not I wrote was arrow then parent. Okay, parent. So if you not parent, is equals to null. So is equals to null. Return one. Okay, so return one. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. Then okay, okay. okay. We can go with that, but also else return there. But then you can be loaded. Okay. 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 Let me let me let me help you with something there. Okay. You are, okay. We could, I can ask I can add the else here, but then in most cases when you are just referring to maybe one statement, don't be using else a lot. Just put it there. That's why I say. So I just say del so that whenever we place the return zero, mm -hmm. someone can you know, when you look at it at that, the bare eyes, maybe you can get confused. But now when I say else, maybe you can know if it does not return one, it returns zero. zero. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, sure. It's making sense. Yeah, so this is how the, um, the function is supposed to be implemented. Yeah, so this is how to check if a root is, a given node is root. This is how you're supposed to implement it. So you're just supposed to check. So in a case where the node now is empty, we're just going to return zero. Else now, we are going to check, we're going to check if the node is parent. We're going to check if the node is equal to parent. It's, it's now we're going to return one, else we're going to return zero. Yeah, there's a lot of stories. And yeah. Now, um, a pre-order transversal, yeah. Let's skip. So. Please, I have a question. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. Is, is it truth? Yes. Okay. Sorry, my network just disappeared. Okay. Sure. Um. Please, what was the error? Okay, okay. The, the error was only. Okay, let me. Okay, you know the, the error was this line you had implemented in line number six. You were saying oh. if node is equals to is right or left but then here we are writing a function that checks if a given node is root so in order to know yeah. if a given node is root you have to check if it has if, if it's not like the parent okay. yeah so that's why that's why that's why we have implemented this here we're saying if the node is pointing to the parent is equals to null it should return one else zero oh my god i understand thank you yeah, it's okay oh, that's just quite, quite, so let me see. Mm, okay. not addicted to the fight so, hello Ahmed. yeah sure hello oh i came i came i came along another another approach okay. that you can approach okay okay sorry let me go back there okay sure let me let me comment okay. on this one. Okay, so after uh we we are going to return. Okay, so first of all I should start with if node is equals to null or uh sorry, let me let me let me zoom in your screen. Okay, let me just ma maximize this. Okay, screen. after 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 the prototype. Yeah, okay, sure, yeah uh we're going to return okay so return then you'll uh you'll open you'll use uh Address. to open bracket this on a bracket uh so let me let me zoom in yeah yeah, yeah. Two, two of them a couple of them okay 
and then uh uh then uh the pointer which is uh a null node so basically you'll use uh, an exclamation mark then node okay so node and then uh, the logical operator or okay so or uh then node pointing to the parent so node parent okay then you 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 close the bracket a single close it thing okay then uh uh, a question mark okay a question mark yeah question mark then uh, zero okay zero uh then uh, uh colon okay colon then one one then you close the bracket then you terminate wow yeah okay basically this is saying return if, if it's not a node or the parent so you should just return okay this one is called i've ever read about this one somewhere okay is this an this one is uh, i think it's an arrow function yeah yeah this one is an arrow function so yeah i've ever read it somewhere but then <laughs> for a start you know for someone who is starting up this one is really complicated because this one this 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 question mark here represents something yeah so if you don't know what this this question mark here means then somebody is going to find it really really hard okay try try explaining this 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 line here so return so explain it okay so yeah uh it uh the it first of all starts by checking mm -hmm. if the pointer is null so if node is null uh it will evaluate to be true indicating that uh the the node does not exist okay then it goes by checking if the node has a parent okay so it accesses the the pointer mm -hmm. so node pointing to the pointer if it is not null mm -hmm. it means that the node uh definitely has a parent okay. then on on moving to the to the to the to the other part mm -hmm. now it combines the two conditions using the logical operator or so if either of the condition is true that is basically if the node is null or if the node has a parent mm -hmm. then the entire expression evaluates to true mm -hmm. and uh yeah yeah, yeah. so uh the part that has a question mark then uh zero ratio one mm -hmm. that is a ternary condition operator so if the condition node is null or node points to the parent evaluates evaluates to true mm -hmm. it returns a uh, zero otherwise it will return one yeah. yeah arrow functions are really helpful guys and they are really 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 easier to use but then actually don't like using them because for someone who is starting up starting out if you try checking out this code maybe you won't understand it and I like I, I like writing out my code so in in a way that even if I'm not around, a, a newbie can just look at it and maybe try following up. But then these arrow functions are good if you are if you are explaining your code to people who already have a tech background or have some knowledge of coding. But then if somebody is starting out, it's really going to have a time implementing this one. Yeah. But then thank you for that. Yeah. Okay, anybody else maybe had a different approach to do this one? I had forgotten about that actually. So, anyone else? I can't say everybody had the same thing. So, yeah, the, the, this, the, this other style. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, sure. Just feel free if you wanted to say something. Yeah, but my own is a. It's just a. It's, it's not. It's just similar to. Can you hear me? Yeah, sure, sure. Can hear you. My own is just similar to to this one, but there are some different things. But I don't know whether it would die as well in my mind because this chapter two, this chapter five is where I'm still in. Is where I am. 
just bring out the code let me check something okay let me let me okay let me let me let me comment out this one so that you can you can save. okay sure okay so let me maximize okay sure okay so how should i start so you will start by if saying can you hear me yeah, sure, sure. yeah okay. you will say if if you say if nodes okay if not is it what or no is it equal to null then you put or oh, okay or or then the parent node is not equal to no so, so parent parent node okay parent node okay no not parent sorry eh. not parent is not equal to no Okay, so the node before the parents. Okay, so node. So then you put your uh, this thing. Uh, Why is it called the the the? So this one node, this one node not equal to null. This one. I can't see it. Though. Okay. But no, no, no. The the nodes nodes. Uh, a hyphen. This is the this is the uh, this binary tree. This is binary tree waiting. So node parent. So node pointing to the parent. Yes, node pointing to the parent is not if was to know. Okay. Then return zero. Okay, so and then return zero. Like that. Yes. Then you come down and return one. So and then return one. Okay, okay, so let me yeah, return one. So if not, yeah. So if not, okay. All of them are, are doing the same thing. The implementation is different because, as you can see, the, the first one here is using two if statements, but then it's still doing the same thing because it's checking if node is null, and then it's returning at zero, and then it's checking if the node has a parent is equal to null, and then it's returning one. In this case, also it's doing the same thing, but then just that, it's more readable. As uh, it's saying if node is equals to null or the node pointing to the parent is not is not null then you should return zero else just return one this arrow function here also is, is still doing doing the same thing it's just saying it should return so you should just return one you should return zero if if the node if there is no node no, the, that this, this arrow function i not explain about this arrow function i leave it to god this one i leave it for another day okay so now let's see we are in task six so okay guys so i i think we'll finish up with task six as you can see i'm, I'm left with 20 minutes before my internet expires so let me just do this quickly so i think we'll finish up with this one in case time in case tomorrow we'll get the time or maybe if we if, if we decide that we ah, ah, had we already put the prototype okay we'll just confirm the letter we should include and then take the prototype so the prototype is taking two functions so, so I have to delete that one. yeah taking two functions so it's taking the tree it's taking a, a pointer function so it's seeing so where tree is a pointer to the root node the tree to reverse and then the function is a pointer to call for each node the value in the node must be passed as a parameter to this function if tree or function is null do nothing okay so okay i normally like starting up with this if statements i'm saying that because i noticed that some people 
normally don't like using these if statements or maybe just use them down they're down but only this is the first thing you normally start so if tree it's saying tree if tree is equals to null sorry is equals to null or i'm saying or um, or it's using an or or func it's function yeah a pointer function is also null then so if function do nothing so if it does nothing it's just return because they're saying if, if, if the tree or function is null then do nothing so basically if the tree so we're just going to return you're not going to return anything just going to return just like that now else <sighs> yeah now else we are going to now to pass so don't forget that we are declared I declared a new tree up there so maybe I should ask someone I should ask help I should ask help for this one here so don't forget so this function here it is a pointer to a function to call Please, I I have I have small question. Now. Okay, sure, sure. Uh, please, what is the difference between just writing return and return no? Okay, <laughs> the return null. Okay, basically, I think I think okay. If you say return null, it, it, it's more like return. For what I I get it, it it means return an empty, return an empty. For example, okay, let me use this, let me use this this node here. No, I want to know that we had said return, return null. So we are not. I think it was this one here. Yeah. Oh no, this one. The one that we said. Yeah, if parent. Yeah. If parent is no. Okay. Can't remember which is which, but then I think the the main difference between the two is if you say return null, it it it's more like return an empty something. But then if you just return like that, it means do nothing. We just, we, it's more like just return the same operation that had been done. I, I, don't, I don't know if you are, you are getting that. I hope my internet is not going yet. Uh, uh, oh. yeah, I can see my internet has already gone. 